question. There was an argument one time. So I was talking about uh, going to church uh, that says, uh, or Saturday is actually the, the actual day we're supposed to go to church. It's Sabbath day. That's what the Bible says we should keep holy. We should keep the Sabbath day holy. That's okay. So if we if we if we take only the Sabbath, the remaining days, who does it belong to? Eh? Who is the owner of the remaining days? No, now nah, it's devil now. Nah. It belongs to devil. Like another one, another misconception. They say Christmas is actually uh, uh, the, the, the the day twenty fifth of December was the day they celebrated one shrine like that, or was all goddess of God. Uh, and all that because that's what, that's what Christ was not born that day uh, it's, uh, it's the idol that we are worshipping so, so, okay. did the Bible say Jesus is the Lord of all wait when he say Lord of all it is a Lord of all villages no he said the Lord of all is not all is all Abi. and the Bible say God has given him a name that is above every other he said at the mention of his name every knee and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord of all. He said, is Lord of what? All the things on earth, in heaven. In other words, all, both on earth, in heaven, everywhere on that the earth, is the Lord of everything, including day and night, is the Lord of day and night. So in other words, the day Jesus was declared Lord, that was the day they gave quick notice to all that small, small demons. They don't occupy anything again. Are you getting it? Any day that they were be saved before, they were knocked out of that day because the day now belonged to Jesus. Jesus is the Lord of all days. Any day you choose to serve him, he <laughs> will, will hear your prayer. So there's no specific day. These are Jewish religion according to the law. Yeah. So when we come to the New Testament, there all days belongs to Jesus. If you wake up on Monday morning, you say you want to go to church, that's church on Monday morning. If it's convenient for the people around there, God will say honor the service. The question I ask, okay, we go to church on, uh, on Sunday. Miracle happened. We went to church on Saturday. Miracle happened. The people that went to church on Monday, miracle happened. God was there. The Holy Spirit was present. So, he himself, that means he's guilty of the same sin. So, we should not commit. Abi? So, if I go to church on Sunday, I'm not supposed to serve God on Sunday. And the Holy Ghost was present. So, what does that show? The Holy Ghost is also guilty of what he said we should know. So, sometimes I don't just understand. See, that's why I tell you, don't practice religion, practice Christianity. Christianity is strictly practical. Are you getting me? Why religion is all obeying set of rules that are not even working? That's all. Just obeying set of rules. They say, if, if you, before you climb the altar, do like this and do like this. I do like this and do like this. Then you jump, you jump, you jump. If I started that in this church, all of you will start doing it. You get that? Before you climb the altar, you now say, uh, uh, uh. everybody will be jumping, right? Why? Because that is all called religion. Nobody will ever ask us, why are we jumping? Christianity is why are we jumping? But religion, they never are. They say we should jump three times. 